Hi everybody, I'm Thomas A. Fowler. And I'm Melissa Kuntz. We're with Spine Press and Post to give you your monthly updates on publishing and marketing. So let's get down to this month's Spinal Wrap. Our first bit of news is an update to what we talked about last time with Amazon's buy button. If you didn't catch it, basically Amazon is allowing third-party vendors to take over the buy button and it's causing issues for authors to get direct sales and direct percentages of their royalties. Um, unfortunately, there hasn't been much traction on it, um, but the Chicago Tribune is still talking about it, which is good. So make sure that you're being an active part of the conversation because the more we talk about it, the more that major news outlets cover it the more it remains an active conversation and therefore it won't just fizzle away and then just be the new norm. And in addition to that, um, purchases on Google was initially an invitation only program where people doing search ads and pay-per-click ads could actually have direct buy buttons on their search results when people are looking for you on Google. So it's gone from invitation only into beta, which means that you may not be able to get it yet, but it's coming soon. And that'll be really helpful for authors and publishers because basically you can tell them where the URL is going and most importantly how they're going to buy your book. And with good advertising, it'll make sure that it sells. Most recently, Tolkien just released a new story. Obviously, it wasn't him because it's 100 years after it was written. According to the Smithsonian, a story that Tolkien wrote in 1917 was recently published. It kind of leads into the Samarillion and sets up a little more of that backstory for the elves. And it is a nice romance. Go ahead and check it out. And in marketing news, Snapchat is opening up a lot of their accessibility for advertisers, which is a really good thing for authors. Initially, about a year, year and a half ago, unless you had a six-figure budget, you couldn't do much in terms of custom filters, geo-targeting. It was always really expensive. But now that they've been working on their program, optimizing the code, they're able to open it up for smaller advertisers and smaller businesses to utilize Snapchat. And this is really going to be helpful when it comes to geotargeting because you can actually create geofences, which means you can decide an area where you can have Snapchat notifications go to people who have Snapchat already on their phone. So if you're at a particular convention or appearance, you can actually geotarget that to send them an advertisement letting them know that you're there and what you have to offer. So be sure to keep an eye open as Snapchat makes that more available and think about ways that you can use geotargeting to your advantage. According to CNN, Barnes & Noble has seen a massive drop in their quarterly report. This is due to a lot of trends that they saw previously with the adult coloring books kind of going down and becoming less popular. So those sales have started to drop. This is just a cautionary tale to all authors not to write to trends because trends do die off. And if you're looking for a little amusement at the end of this video, basically a uh, couple and a few other people have started recreating corny romance novels using uh, Photoshop and some clever photography techniques. It's really hilarious because it points out just how absurd some of these covers can get. So that wraps it up for this week's Spinal Wrap. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. And once again, I'm Thomas A. Fowler. And I'm Melissa Coons. Until next time, get to writing.